Good morning, everybody. I had to take Winter to work, and we were in a hurry because I couldn't find the keys for the Land Rover, so I had to take a different car. But that's why she's not saying good morning with me. And my uncle's coming over right now, so I could do an oil change on his truck. And if you guys want to learn, I think I've already posted a video on how to do one, but stay tuned if you want to learn because I'll be doing that right now. But today I'm going to be working on a diesel and I've never worked on one before, but doing an oil change on a truck or car is always going to be the same concept. So I'm just going to have to find out where the oil drain plug is and where the oil filter is. My uncle just got here, so let's take a look at his truck. So this is the original oil filter, but he actually had a bypass put in which is right here. So now this is the oil filter that I'm gonna have to take out. It's already loose. And right here is the oil drain plug. So that was easier than I thought. I finished it in like 30 minutes. The longest part was letting it drain. We also did a few other things. We changed both fuel filters and we took out the EGR valve and cleaned it. But I didn't record it because he was kind of in a hurry. So I wanted to get it all done quick so I didn't have time to set up the camera and film everything. So I'm sorry. But now I have to look for the keys for the Land Rover. Hopefully I find them and then I'm a shower. A few moments later. So I found the keys. They were actually in one of my jackets in my drawer. So. My bad, babe. I'm also sorry I didn't get into details about how to do oil change. It's because I thought I was going to do my uncle's truck and my aunt's car today, but I'm actually doing my aunt's car tomorrow. So tomorrow I'll get into more details, but I will type down the steps that I did do. It's basically going to be the same on every car, like I said. But tomorrow I'll actually go step by step with you guys and show you how to do it. But this little guy right here is due for some shots, huh? So I'm gonna take him to the vet right now so he could get his shots. And I'm also gonna get him a flea collar because his old one we threw away, it was old. So I wanna get him a new one so he doesn't get some fleas and stuff. Huh, yeah? You ready? You don't know what I'm saying, but it's okay. He's actually gonna be wearing his harness because at the vet there's a lot of dogs and I don't want him choking himself with the collar. Come here, boy, come here. Okay, babe, you ready? You ready to go? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Good boy. Come on, baby. Oh, there you go, Papa. Wait. Gotta buckle you up, baby. Now that he's all set and buckled up, huh, baby, we're gonna go right now. Time to head to the vet. You ready, baby? You ready? Okay, let's go. So there were other dogs while we walked in and he went crazy, so I'm glad we're in the room right now. It's okay, baby. Pretty sure you're gonna have to get on top of this table. But you stay here for now, huh? So, so far, I have to give him two shots, and he said he's getting a little tartar on his teeth, so I'm gonna have to start brushing his teeth, and that's not gonna go well. <laughs> be mad at me, honey. You're gonna be mad at me after this. So, we just got home, and I spent way more money than I wanted to. He had to get three vaccines. Well, two vaccines and then one was deworming. And I also had to get him a flea collar because he needed it. But that cost a lot of money. And my uncle did pay me to do his oil change and change the fuel filters. Jiffy Lube was actually gonna charge him a hundred bucks just to change the fuel filters. And it seriously took me like 25 minutes to do both. So he would have gotten ripped off. And he said he'd rather help me out than take it to Jiffy Lube, so thank you. And the money I did make 
went to Tyson today and I had to put a lot of my own money on top of that. But thank you anyways for trying to help me out. So tomorrow I'm gonna do my aunt's oil change and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna do my oil change tomorrow too because it needs it. But hopefully that job contacts me and offers me a good deal so I could have a job and start making good money. A little longer than a few minutes later. The job actually emailed me right now and offered me $21 an hour and I'm gonna try to negotiate with them to get more because I was getting paid $21 at my old job, so obviously I wanna get more. Plus, it's like an hour away from my house, so it takes half a tank every two days just to get there. And that's a lot of money adding up. I mean, even if they don't offer me what I want, I think I will have to take it because we need money right now and I can't be too greedy. I need to make sure I could take care of Tyson and you know, obviously I wanna provide as much as I can to winter and get her what Ever she wants and I also want to help out my parents so I think I'm gonna just have to suck it up but we'll see if I could get more money first but winter is ending now so I gotta go get her and then we're gonna come back hey there pretty lady how you doing Hello. how you doing I did my makeup on my lunch break because I was just tired of looking in the mirror like a goblin who called you that do I need to myself. find myself <laughs> oh. okay we're gonna go home I am tired we had a nine foot truck today and we finished, we started at nine and we finished at three. So that was successful. Aren't you proud of me? Mm -hmm. I so ran proud. the whole truck you know by how myself. proud I am. I am so proud. I want to be you. Ew. Stop. Okay. okay. <laughs> Gotta go. Silly us forgot to say we got back. And we've been back for a couple of hours, but there is a change of plans for tomorrow. Instead of doing an oil change, my uncle and my cousin invited me to go dirt bike riding with them. I've never been dirt bike riding. I'm really scared, but I think I'm going to go. But right now, we're going to go get food because my family and I in winter are all starving. So let's go, baby. I know you're hungry. Yeah, I'm hungry. Okay. Can we take Tyson? No. Oh. But we will go. <laughs> So we are in the car that we recently got, and I said I would talk about it. We actually got this from Jose's friend, and it wasn't running. The engine went to poop. So all we had to do was replace it. So basically we got a car for $2,500. That's how much it cost to put the engine in. And it's not the nicest thing. It's not the prettiest, but it does work and I'm gonna have to use this when I get a job, so I can't really complain. But yeah, that's what this car is about. We'll show it to you when we get home, or maybe another day when it's light outside. But it's a pretty, a pretty color, huh? Love it. It's a gold champagne color, something yeah. like that. <laughs> yeah, kind of funky, okay. but whatever. It works, it runs. It'll get me to point A, point B, so yeah. All right, we got the bus. Hey, in here. We go. Some chilies. We got burritos, tacos, quesadillas. You already know. Robert, what'd you just do? Robert, why don't you just clean it? <laughs> There's rice everywhere. Check me with the swimmer. No. The oh my god. Robert, this is ridiculous. How does this even happen? Okay, so we just got done eating. Quesadilla was bomb. How was your tacos and burrito or whatever you got? Oh, how was your tacos and quesadilla? That's good. Good. But Robert is over here um, packing up his camera gear for his special fun thing tomorrow. Are you excited? I already said I was going to go dirt biking. Oh, you already said what it was. I'm all trying to like surprise people. Yeah. Well, I didn't know he told you guys, but he's never really been before. You've been once, right? Dirt or biking? something? No. Well, I thought you said you have. Oh, quadding? ATV. Oh, walkers. ATV. Oh, yeah. That's well, it. that's the only time he's ever done anything like that. So he's kind of scared. He was like hesitating because he was scared. And then he blamed it on me. He's like, I need to ask Winter first. <laughs> but he was just hesitating. <laughs> he knew I was going to let him go. I don't freaking tell him what to do. You're silly. You're a silly boy. Oh, man. Sorry. <laughs> so once I pack all my camera stuff up, 
we're gonna go to bed. So far, I got the memory card, the DJI, battery chargers, and the only thing missing is the GoPro. And that's because I need to make sure it's charged for tomorrow. And my aunt actually got me the GoPro 7. So thank you very much, Auntie Beth. I will be using it tomorrow. Everything is now packed up and ready to go. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Tyson, you wanna watch me close the box? I guess so, huh? The next day. Good morning, guys. Say good morning, Tyson. Winter is still asleep, as you can see. But I am dressed, ready to go for the day. My uncle and my cousin are gonna pick me up to go dirt bike riding. I'm super scared, I'm super excited. I just hope I don't make a fool out of myself. So I'm gonna actually wait outside. I'm getting more nervous by the second. I wish Winter could come, but she's actually working later today, so it's just gonna be me. There they are. So we actually made a little pit stop, picked up an ATV, and we're gonna get a Razor too. And that's the bike that I'm gonna be riding. I don't know about this. It's way bigger than I thought it would be. So we just loaded up the Razor and it is badass. I can't wait to go for a ride in it. Just look at that bad boy. Wow. So we just made it to the spot. I think we're in Barstow. Never been anywhere like this. But we're gonna get everything unloaded right now and then we're gonna go for a ride. And I forgot to mention that one of the dirt bikes actually had a problem, the one I was gonna ride. So I won't be riding a dirt bike, but I will be in the Razor and in the quad, so. That's an update for you guys. So right there is my uncle and my cousin. And the people I'm with just told me that they don't care about the camera, so now I don't have to hide it anymore, huh? Huh, you wanna be on camera? Hey. You wanna see what you look like? Hi. <laughs> so we're gonna go riding right now, but I'm gonna switch to the GoPro. So much fun. So right now we're gonna head home. We're just putting away all the little toys. If I didn't introduce him, that's actually Jay's nephew. That's his fiance. And that's John's cousin. All right, I'm finally back home, tired. I was in the sun all day, but that was the most fun I've had in a while. The last time I did something like that was with Oscar when we rented a side-by-side, -side, and it's making me want to buy one, or at least maybe an ATV. I don't know. I know I didn't get to ride the dirt bike today, but just going off-roading is making me want to buy one. I know I don't have the money yet, so I will have to wait for that. So right now I'm going to shower because I feel really dirty. And after that, I'm just gonna rest and wait till Winter gets home from work. She's back. Hello. How was work then? It was fine. They made me scrub the registers and everything. No. Nice. Part of spring cleaning. What is that? It's a treat because he didn't pee on the bed. Tyson. <laughs> <laughs> As I was saying, we're doing like a spring cleaning thing at work, but it's spring cleaning and it's like a super, super clean once a year, which doesn't really do anything, honestly, because. If it's once a year, that's still super dirty. <laughs> but yeah, that's why I was scrubbing the registers and everything so my hands smell really gross even though I washed them. So I'm gonna wash them again and then we're gonna eat. All right, you guys, it is now 12.43. I basically just got done editing almost the whole thing. There's a few things that we still need to do to the video, but I am going to go ahead and do the positive comment of the day shout out of positivity and i'm gonna do 
two today because they're both kind of short and sweet and one of them has a question at the end that I would like to answer. So let's get to it. The first one is by Cami Zuloff. Hopefully I said that right. And she said, Hi guys, just wanted to say you guys are such good people and I love watching you guys daily. You're both funny and entertaining. I wish Rob could find a job here where I live in Washington. I think you guys would like it here. There are so many beautiful places here to live and I'm in Seattle and have been here for 47 years. I'm almost 48, man, getting old. <laughs> I'd love to be in my 20s again. Anyway, love you all and I hope you feel better, Wint. Thank you. I actually do feel better, you guys. Believe it or not, I'm feeling fine. So thank you for that. Thank you, Cami, for your nice comment. And the next comment is by the Alexander series. And they said, I'm low-key hoping you guys move to Oregon because I think it would be awesome for you guys to have a brand new start with just you guys and Tyson. Do you have any family there or know anyone there? And I wanted to answer that question because, I don't know, I just felt like it. But my uncle lives there, actually. He recently moved there, like, a year ago, I think. But he lives in Portland, and it is my Uncle Adam, the one who I shouted out on, I think, two vlogs ago. He is the artist, so I think that would be really cool to live close to him. He's always kind of been, like a role model in my life so he's really awesome it would be awesome to live next to him and also I've been dying to meet Carly Holden so if I ever go to Oregon or if we move to Oregon I would love to be friends with her she's freaking awesome so yes and also if you don't know who that is I will leave her link in the description she is freaking hilarious and she's just so real and I love watching her videos and she's just really cool so go ahead and watch her but yeah that's basically it Robert's already sleeping down here I'm probably annoying the crap out of him because I am talking and he's trying to sleep so I'm gonna say goodnight. I'm pretty tired myself, and we will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Bye!